Hello everyone, it's Kate here and welcome. I'm here today to share my entry for Isalink Volume 6. And thanks to a lovely tutorial from Tamika, who organises the Isalink monthly topic for us to make, I have made what she suggested and what she did a lovely tutorial on. So I will leave a link to the project underneath the video and again ask people to seriously consider taking part in this monthly chance to win a prize in the fact that you will meet like-minded people. There is no money involved, there is no swaps involved, you are making what you make just for the fun of it, using up scraps, using up your favourite papers. It's all entirely up to you how you um, deal with whatever it is you're asked to make. Tamika does a wonderful tutorial. There is never reason to wonder, oh my gosh, how can I do this? Because everything is out there by way of a tutorial. It's just then you use it, picking up on your stash and using what you whatever you've got to hand. So before I show you more, this for the ladies in the UK, because I don't know that you'll get it anywhere else. You might have a similar thing um, in your neck of the woods, wherever that may be. But this for the ladies in the UK is the MNC Boutique and it is available at the works for four pounds, which is absolutely ridiculous because this is foiled, it's embossed. I don't know if you can pick up on the glorious colours here. It's glittered, it is absolutely gorgeous with several different designs to pick up and play with. Really, really pretty. So I don't want to spend too much time on the pad, but just for £4, which is neither here nor there in the great scheme of things, it is such a brilliant pad to get your hands on if you're at all into the um, contents here. And in fact, there are four different styles. This is for four by eight designs, 16 sheets with glitter and 16 sheets with foil. And, you know, I can't praise it enough. It's a really, really good GSM. As you can see here, 250 GSM, which is remarkable in itself for that kind of money. Single-sided, but the quality is there. Ideal for this kind of project where you are matting and layering to make your project possible. So what we have here, if I turn it up this way, you can see is what Tamika's called a an embellishment box, a gift. And it doesn't have to be heavy. Clearly, you wouldn't want to send it too far because of the dimensions of it. But it holds three pockets. It's got the belly band to secure and I've just covered where I felt it relevant to do so on the outside and it's held together firstly with the belly band so if I take the belly band off it's not detracting from the gift aspect at all and on here I've used one of Sparkling Char's amazing flowers thank you so much Char and hello um, I, I can't leave these flowers alone. They are just so wonderful. They're dimensional and for this kind of thing, purely decorative. But what a lovely way of decorating anything. I hadn't seen them before, uh, but Sparkling Shore is actually part of the Issa World monthly group as well. And, you know, this this is one of the delights of being in this scenario and meeting people that inspire and just set your little world alight really. So that is the belly band. It's then held together with the velcro. Now you see I've put the metal embellishments in the corners here so by the time the uh, belly band is on it looks like a triple function 
going across the box. So I've anchored it with Velcro as it was suggested. Um, I'll put that one over there and you'll see the lovely papers and then it opens up and you have three glorious pockets. If I come in a bit so you can just see the design here. And it, what you had to do was make your pocket and then line it with some acetate or something that would just make it a fulsome pocket again once you'd finished making your pockets. But I've only put, as Tamika did, one slice of card down through each of the spines of the base. I've not done the spines of the pockets purely and simply because I have no objection to seeing this much craft card within the project. And then the twist was, invariably there is a twist, I'll go back out again, um, that you could fill this with embellishments which would make it a lovely, lovely swapping gift or something special to send to someone. Um, and Tamika loves all of this. She's just started a project whereby she's paying it forward, which in, in the American ladies' terms means if they receive something in a rack, for example, random act of kindness, they then forward it on to someone in their circle and the expectation is that it is paid forward and forward and forward until there is a regular circle of smiles amongst people who weren't expecting anything to land on their doorstep so it is fabulous however back to this I did make the embellishments just to finish it off and here are four little pegs with the ribbon and little flowers there plain packaging because after all they are in the drawer there so they really don't need anything extra on them and that you wouldn't want anything too thick because it just wouldn't work. Here are some little three by three cards and clearly they have envelopes and they're just huge fun. So there's three of those, but it's a lovely little gift nonetheless, all within the same paper range. And then in the final one, I made some more of Sparkling Shire's flowers and just put them onto um, a, a paper clip and it's the bronze rose gold effect so they look really really tasteful excuse the glare but as it's all wrapped up I don't really want to take it all apart again and that concludes my show and tell for Issa Link party number six to everyone who's taking part this week I'd like this month I'd like to wish you all good luck and um, hope that everyone enjoys having a go at this wonderful, wonderful project. And then to close it up, you just roll and roll and roll back to the centre. When it's got more things in it or when it's got embellishments in it, it is more secure. And, you know, it, it really is a lovely project to make and a lovely project to send on to one of your craft-minded friends. So thank you for sharing this time with me as always. It's very much appreciated. Take care everyone and don't forget, go on over to Tamika, check out the Issa Link party and Tamika's channel because she really is such a wealth of information. Bye-bye for now everyone.